Hi folks, hope you're okay today, it's good to be with you. And uh, we're looking at guiding principles of evangelism. Uh, my name's Jason, and I hope this is a blessing to you today. So let's come before the Lord and ask his blessing uh, upon this message. Father God, we thank you for this day. And we thank you for your love and your grace. We give you the prayers and the glory and the honor. And Father, we pray as we look at your word today that you would bless us and that you would encourage us, Lord, and that you would minister to us and meet our needs. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, uh, first of all, first guiding principle to evangelism is that God has given us the victory. So let's turn to Joshua chapter 1, verse 3. Joshua chapter 1, verse 3. Joshua uh, chapter 1. Joshua chapter 1, verse 3. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. So God had given the land to the people of God and they could go in and possess it and they'd already got it before they even went in because God had already promised them victory. So before we even go out to evangelism, we have the victory. God's going to bless. So be encouraged. God, secondly, God has promised to be with us in Joshua chapter 1 verse 5. Therefore shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I, was with, as I was with Moses, so I will be with thee, and I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. So no matter what happens, you can be assured that God is with you, that God goes with you in your evangelism. You don't go alone. The next thing we need to realize is that God has commanded us to be bold and to be obedient. Joshua chapter 1, verse 7 and 8. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. So they are to go boldly. This book of the law shall not depart of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written. For then that thou make thy way prosperous, and then shalt thou have good success. So be bold and be obedient. Obey the word of God and go forth in evangelism. Let's just go back to that verse 7 again. Notice, only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to the law. Again, be courageous. Don't be timid. Be courageous but also be obedient. The next key to evangelism is faith and holiness, that we need to have faith and we need to have a holy life. If you turn to Joshua chapter 6, verse 20, Joshua chapter 6, verse 20, we read, So the people shouted when the priests blew with the trumpets, and it came to pass, when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, the people shouted with a great shout, that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. So they played trumpets, and the whole city fell down. They had faith. They were a people who had the faith and belief in God's power, but they were a people who were obedient. God told them to do it, and they did it. If you're going to be successful in evangelism, you have to have faith and you have to live a holy life. Oh, my friends, if you want to be a powerful vessel for God, we have to be clean vessels. Then be guided by the Holy Spirit. In Joshua chapter 2, verse 9. And she said unto them, Men, I know that the Lord had given you the land, and that your terror is fallen upon us, 
and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. She said, Rahab said, I know that the Lord has given you this land. She was a woman. It was a Gentile, yet she knew what God was doing. She'd been listening to God. Are you listening to God through his word and the Holy Spirit? Where he wants you in the battle? What he wants you to do? The other issue is sin in our lives. If you turn to Joshua chapter 7 verse 1. Joshua chapter 7 verse 1. But the children of Israel committed to trespass and the accursed thing. For Achan the son of Carmi, the son of Zebedee, the son of Zariah, the son of Judah, took of the accursed thing. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. Achan had a secret sin, and the secret sin angered God and stopped the work of God. But the children of Israel committed a trespass regarding the accursed thing, for Achan took the accursed thing, so the anger of the Lord burned against the children of Israel. If we want to see God at work, if we want to see God bless our church, we have to be clean. We have to get rid of secret sin. Do you hear that? We have to. Oh, if we want to see God bless, we have to get rid of secret sin. We have to. Then we have to be led by God in the work of Joshua chapter 9, verse 6. Joshua chapter 9, verse 6. And they went to Joshua unto the camp of Gilgal, and said unto him, And to the men of Israel, we, we become from a far country now, therefore make ye a league with us. The men of Israel said unto the Hivites, Preadventure, you dwell among us, and how shall we make a league with you? Now, Joshua and the Israelites made a pact with the Hivites when God had told them, to, Israelites, to fight them and destroy them. Everybody who's put standing in their way. So Joshua did not seek the Lord's will here, nor the people of Israel. They just didn't seek the Lord's will at all. And I want to say this to you, that it's important in your work for God, in your work of evangelism, to seek what God wants you to do in that work. Next, appreciate the blessings of God in the work of evangelism. Joshua chapter 21. Joshua chapter 21, verse 45. We read, There fell not aught of any good thing which the Lord had spoken unto the house of Israel, all came to pass. God kept his promises. There was blessing, and they remembered that. We also need to guard the blessing. If you turn to Joshua chapter 18, verse 3, Joshua chapter 18, verse 3, Joshua said unto the children of Israel, How long are you slack to go to possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers had given you? The people of God had been fighting, but now they'd settled. And it's so easy to settle. You might get some blessing in your church, then settle. No, no. Guard the blessing. Continue to serve and proclaim the, proclaim the word. And also receive the blessing. You know, God sends people who were converted. Receive them. Receive blessing that God gives you. God has given, gave the people of Israel here the land. And they should appreciate it, but they didn't appreciate it. Often we don't appreciate that God has saved people in our church. And we don't realize what God is doing. My friends, have one ambition, to proclaim the gospel. Believe that we have victory. Step out and be bold in the ministry of evangelism. Have faith and believe that God will work. Live a holy life. Get rid of the secret sin.
rely on the Holy Spirit and look to God for guidance in your ministry then you will receive blessing and when you receive the blessing God the blessing let's close in prayer father we thank you for your grace and your love and care and we give you the prayers and the glory today and I pray oh God that this message would be a blessing to many many people that it would encourage them in evangelism and strengthen them in the ministry of serving and preaching the gospel in the name of Jesus Christ and for your glory Lord Amen Amen thank you for listening and God bless you